Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it did work. But how's it going, guys? Uh, welcome back to another video. I keep saying that probably 100 and 160 something times I've said it. Uh, it never gets old. But um, yeah, welcome back to another video. Today I will be doing my favorite teams and ranking AFL teams. So let's see how we go as I move this here. Hopefully you can see me. And yeah, let's do it. So we got favorite team like starting starting to like them they're okay no opinion really rivals are not a huge fan and absolute hate now I, I don't really hate any teams so i'm probably might take that out um i used to hate hawthorne a lot but yeah they've sort of grown on me which is weird sort of not really i don't know anyways here we go favorite team is obviously Geelong because I am a Geelong supporter been a Geelong supporter all my life so obviously sometimes they can go here or they can go here not a huge fan sometimes <laughs> nah but you gotta ride the bumps and yeah so Adelaide I don't mind Adelaide they've got a really good list young as well and talented but I'm gonna go they're okay and no opinion really because I don't really have opinion on Adelaide their fans are body loyal like 50 you get 50,000 and they're in bottom of the ladder. Like, oh, hopefully, that's what Geelong are like when they're down the bottom. Brisbane, again, no opinion really. You know, like, they've, they've got some exciting young players and some exciting players that are absolutely on fire. Um, but yeah, you know, I just don't really have an opinion on them. Fanta, obviously, oil. So we've got Gold Coast Suns, again. I don't really have an... Actually, you know what? I actually like the Suns. I went for them one game, I think. And I was still a Geelong supporter as well. Because of Gary Ablett, who was my idol growing up. A uh, junior, that is. Um, but yeah. So, Fremantle. It's weird. I'm starting to like it. You know, they've got some young, young, great players coming through. Jordan Clark. I used to hate him, but now he's an absolute gun. I only hate him because he left Geelong. <laughs> That's the only reason. But he went home. Respect. Richmond rivals or not I'm not really a huge fan on the Richmond to be honest but at the same time I do respect what they've actually done and you know they're all they're, they're a class side so there's no doubt about that just their fans really annoy me sometimes but at the same time like you know Jong fans are no different to be honest or any club is really uh Carlton yeah I mean I don't have really any opinions on them they're not really a huge threat yet uh but they will be in the next few years to come if they you know make finals for once Collingwood starting to like them. I know what a shocker. A Geelong fan actually starting to like Collingwood. That's weird, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this, but yeah, I'm so actually starting to like them. They've played some exciting footy and they've been in some exciting games last year. And, you know, they were so, so close. And I thank you, Sydney, for actually uh, beating them. So then I can go to the grand final because it would have been impossible if Collingwood won. So. I, th I applaud Sydney for that. Essendon, mm, I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on them, to be honest. I know this is probably a boring ranking AFL teams, uh, but I don't know. I just don't really have an opinion. Sort of an, a, yeah, they're just, yeah, there, I guess. Like, there's, <laughs> there's no improvement for the last few years. They did make finals, what was it, 2021? And they faded away last year. But hopefully for them, and, you know, Tipper is probably one of my favorite players to watch as well. Um, outside of Geelong. So hopefully, you know, he gets firing this year. That'd be exciting. And, you know, it's about, what, nearly 7,000 days since of uh, won a final. So maybe, maybe, just maybe it could be this year. Who knows? Uh, GWS, I'm just not a huge fan of GWS, to be honest. They've just been gifted uh, stuff from the IFL, And it's weird because not many people really care for GWS in a way because you know they're in Western Sydney they could have picked anywhere in Sydney but they went to Western Sydney and nobody cares so mm, don't really have an opinion on them but at the same time not a huge fan of them and obviously Toby Green you know he's an exciting player as well but I just don't like the way he goes about it sometimes Hawks uh they're our rivals so I, I should put them in hate but I don't actually hate them I don't have any side I used to but not anymore so it's probably maturing, so I, I'll say that. So, yeah, Hawks are just there, you know. Hopefully, they look after Cooper Stevens and, you know, James Warple has another go this year. Melbourne, I don't know. 
it's just weird. Like, I never used to have an opinion on Melbourne, but ever since they've become good, you know, they're all class and, you know, they play some exciting brand of football. And, yeah, it's good for the game. Um, North Melbourne, eh, I mean, they're just there, aren't they? Like, there's just no opinion on them, like, whatsoever. Um, my stepdad, my stepdad goes for North. And, um, but yeah, there's, I don't really have an opinion on North Melbourne. I wish I did, but yeah, they're just there. Uh, so we've got Western Bulldogs. Or, oh, um, I'm, I'd sort of start, starting to like them. Like, they've actually, no, I've actually always liked them, to be honest. I don't remember a time where I got into a, um, Head argument over a doggies with a doggy supporter, so I can't say that. Um, is there a? F oh, I know we got that fly. Port, eh? I mean, you know, every every club has bad and or good and bad supporters, but no. Every club has good and bad supporters, but Port are just on another level. They're just yeah, interesting. Um, but. At least they're passionate about that club, and I respect that, but I just don't like Port Adelaide, to be honest. St. Kilda, again, I don't really have an opinion on them. Um, they're just, yeah, hopefully they make finals, but otherwise, for their long and suffering supporters. <laughs> but, yeah, I just don't really have an opinion, to be honest. Sydney, I don't mind Sydney, but since they're sort of our rivals and had some bad experience at the SCG, uh, with Swans, you know, teenage fans, uh, yeah, I'm just going to put them there. Obviously, it was uh, nearly a year ago, it would have been a year, uh, another month and about nine or eight days as I'm recording this, uh, when Buddy will kick his 1,000th goal, which was very, very exciting to watch John getting pumped. So I'm like, you know what? I'm here. I may as well hope, hopefully uh, get some footage of Buddy kicking a thousand goal. So, you know, it'll probably never be broken, to be honest. Uh, in this day and age, with all the defending and stuff. So, but it was awesome to see. And lastly, did not intention to uh, to get West Coast there, but pick last. But yeah, so I don't really have an opinion on West Coast. It was awesome for them to, to win in 2018 i was sort of going for them in a way but yeah they're just yeah then yeah they're an old list but they're not doing anything um obviously uh they'll be probably i reckon winning one or two more games than they did last year maybe who knows we'll see how we, how we go but yeah don't really have an opinion on west coast so yeah so yeah that is my uh tier list um on obs right now but yeah, there you go. There's not much, not much else to say. Um, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Uh, bring on the 2023 season. And hopefully I get this out tomorrow, which it will be a Wednesday. So yeah, I'm recording this at 1.30. So got a video uh, coming out very, very shortly. But yeah, thank you so much for the support. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching this. Anyways, cheers. Peace.